Hi everyone, welcome to the Cloudify for Azure Live demo. In this demo, we're going to show how to onboard a standard Java-based Spring application onto the Azure Cloud in a few simple steps using Cloudify. The demo application that we're going to use for that uh, for the purpose of that demo is the Spring Travel application. For those of you who are familiar with the Spring Framework, this is the official demo application uh, of the Spring Framework 3.0 distribution. And it's essentially, it's a very simple application that demonstrates how to implement uh, a web-based application that acts as a relational database on top of the Spring Framework. In our case, we uh, slightly change it to use the Cassandra NoSQL database instead of MySQL, only to show that you can also onboard uh, um, these kinds of databases onto Azure. So we'll demonstrate how to deploy uh, that application onto Azure and how to manage and monitor it using the Cloudify runtime infrastructure and tools. The first step is to perform an initial setup or bootstrap process, which will basically start all the uh, Cloudify management infrastructure on top of the Azure Cloud. That infrastructure includes the Cloudify REST gateway, which is used to communicate with the Cloudify environment uh, from remote locations, for example, the interactive shell, the Cloudify web-based management console, and all the Azure infrastructure related uh, to those uh, components. So let's get started with a demo. So the first thing we're seeing is the Azure console. We can see it's empty, no hosted services are deployed. And the next thing, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the Cloudify shell. Okay, so after installing Cloudify, it's very simple to start the shell. This is the Cloudify shell. And essentially now we're gonna issue the bootstrap command. We're just gonna copy it uh, from our documentation portal. As you can see, Azure Bootstrap App command, a few other parameters like the Azure password, timeout, and stuff like that. And we also need to specify the recipe folder. So what is a recipe? A recipe is a way to package your application so the Cloudify will understand how to install, start, monitor, and manage it on the cloud. In our example, the application is composed of the Tomcat and Cassandra services and the actual travel application .war file. So the Cloudify recipe in Arcus describes how to install Tomcat and Cassandra from where to take their binaries and then how to install the WAR file onto Tomcat. Technically speaking though, the recipe is just a set of scripts, most of which are Groovy based, that simply wrap your application. So the key thing to remember here is that the recipe is completely non-intrusive to the application. There are zero code changes to your application when you want to Cloudify it. So now that you understood what a recipe is, let's issue the bootstrap command. That will make Cloudify upload to Azure all the products that are necessary to run an Azure hosted service which will host your application. These include the CS package and whatever certificates Azure needs to simply start the hosted service. Now let's switch to the Azure console. We can see that we already have a hosted service, still no roles running or instances. But if we wait a little longer, we can see that the roles are being started. Let's switch back to the console again. We can see a bunch of roles there. They're still stopped. And if we wait a little more longer, actually we're fast forwarding here a bit. We can see that all the instances are up and running. Now let's have a look at the Azure roles created by the bootstrap command. We can see here that we have four roles, Tomcat, the two instances hosting our Tomcat web server instances, management and UI that are hosting the management infrastructure and the UI respectively, and Cassandra, two instances that are hosting uh, our two Cassandra instances. So once all services are up and running, the shell will actually connect to the RESTful gateway and discover it. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run the install application command. This will actually upload the application binaries onto Azure and start the application services as defined in a recipe. So we can see here that all the application products are uploaded, Cassandra.zip, and a bunch of other binaries that are needed to run the application. 
and now we can see that our application has been installed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the Cloudify web-based dashboard. This typically runs on port 8080 on our Azure deployment. And we'll log in. And basically what we'll see here is the dashboard. We can see a general health indication for the application. We can see all the applications that are running as part of Azure. So if you look at the right hand side here, we can see all deployed application. In our case, it's just the travel application and the management infrastructure that was deployed as part of the bootstrap command. We can click on individual applications and see relative utilization of um, computing resources. And we can also see cluster-wide memory and CPU utilization metrics. So let's switch to the topology view now. This actually shows us the deployed application instances and allows us to get a finer grid monitoring view of our application. So here we see the management application and its running services, the REST gateway and the web UI. We can see cluster-wide health metrics. And now we'll switch to the travel application. So we can see two services here, Tomcat and Cassandra. We can see them in the upper part of the screen. And we can see dedicated metrics. So in our case, Tomcat is selected and we can see Tomcat related metrics. These can all be defined in the recipe. And we'll switch to Cassandra. We can see that we have different metrics, again, more relevant to Cassandra, like commit log stuff and, and other metrics that are Cassandra related. So the next thing we'll do is we'll switch to see the actual application running that's running on port 80 on the same Azure load balancer address. The context path of that application is travel. And here we go, the standard spring travel application. Let's click it a bit to see all is up and running. We'll search for hotel here. And here we go, accessing the Cassandra database. We'll view the hotel. The hotel and seems all is up and running properly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to list our instances from the shell just to show that you can monitor the running instances uh, from the shell as well. So we need to specify the name of the service that we're going to list instances for. You can see two Tomcat instances and their respective IPs. We can also compare that to the Azure console and see that indeed these are two Tomcat instances. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scale out. So we're going to use the Azure set instances command. And we're going to increment the number of instances from two to three for our Tomcat service. So we specify the Azure hosted service name and our own service name and the number of instances that we want to specify. And we can see in the Azure console already that we have a new role instance. We can also see that in the Cloudify web dashboard, you can see two out of three services. And if we switch to the physical view here, let's wait a bit. And we can see that we have a new Tomcat instance added to the mix. So let's switch to the shell and see that things are reflected there as well. List instances command for a Tomcat service. And voila, we have three instances. So after we've scaled out, let's see if the application is still up and running. Just use it a bit. Kind of do a sanity check. Seems everything is running properly and that our scale-up process has been successful. With that, we'll end our demo. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, log in to gigaspaces.com slash Azure. Thank you.